We're here at SEMA Day 3 with Battle of the Builders presented by Mothers. We've narrowed it down to our top 12, and now we're going to find out who makes it to the final four. Who's ready to find out who that final four is? I know people from all over the world come to SEMA to see these incredible cars, incredible accessories. The passion for cars is here today. We've got a chance to walk the floor here at SEMA and we found one of our top 40 builds, John Sarkisian's 1957 Ferrari Testarossa. There was no expense or energy spared on this build. The amount of detail, it's absolutely incredible all the way down to the prancing horse logo. We've got gold, gold on the side skirts here lining our exhaust, which exits out the side on the rocker. There is just so much detail going into this build. $30,000 in hardware. <laughs> That's more than some of my cars are worth. The pressure is on. Our competitors are about to start judging each other's builds. Pretty nervous, didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, but uh, we're here this morning, it's gonna be a good day. I hope they appreciate what we've done. I'm excited to get under their cars, see what they've done. Great group of guys, great group of cars, and a lot of us are all friends, and this is going to be a lot of fun. A little bit behind the scenes on uh, SEMA Battle of the Builders, presented by Mothers. So what happens is 170 plus cars are filtered through by uh, the judges into four categories, and then the top 12 make it here. These 12 are then judged by those 12 builders. For example, uh, Mr. Leach will uh, explain what he's done with this Buick Invicta. He'll have five minutes on top and something really unique to this show is then we lift it up and all of the 11 builders get to see what Andy Leach has done underneath all the lights exposing every single weld, every method he used to hide every cable, it's incredible. So you have young guns that are, you know, this may be their first SEMA that are learning from pros with multi-million dollar cars and you have multi-million dollar shops seeing these young guns and their talents and maybe they want to hire them after the show. Very cool part about uh, Battle of the Builders and uh, something that the public is free to watch live. This year at SEMA, there's something new happening. SEMA Fest is this Friday and Saturday at the Las Vegas Festival Grounds. Come check out live performances from the Hoonigans, Nitro Circus, and live music from Imagine Dragons, Incubus, Ludacris, and more. Get your tickets before it's too late, guys. Yesterday we caught up with Chris Jacobs on stage and today we get a chance to actually look at one of the cars we were discussing during our interview. This is the Finale Speed Camaro. As you can tell, it's an absolutely immaculate version of this vehicle, but the real kicker is that it's a complete carbon body car. So every panel has been replaced with carbon fiber. There is so much detail that goes into this. You can see as you look at the weave here, it follows from panel to panel, which is just absolutely incredible. The last build is pulling off the lift now, and we're gonna get to find out who makes it to the final four. All right, the winner of the very heated Sport Compact Performance uh, 4 is Jordan Hankey with his 1987 XR4Ti, nice. And the winner in the Young Guns division is Charles Spencer in his 1969 Chevrolet C10. Congratulations. And the third category is off-road and 4x4, four four. and the winner of that category is Jared Hancock, 1978 Jeep Cherokee Chief S. Congratulations, Jared. And last but definitely not least, in the category for hot rod and hot rod trucks, Andy Leash and his 1960 Buick Invicta Custom. It's been an intense day of deliberating here at the Battle of the Builders stage presented by Mothers, but we've narrowed it down to our final four. Tomorrow, we crown a king.